Good morning. It is 4.45 a.m. and we are at the gym because that's what crazy people do this early. And yeah, I against all odds wanted to film this morning just so you see exactly how tired I am now versus when I get out of the gym and then you'll know why we get up so crazy early. But right now I'm exhausted. All right, so as you can see, there's a pretty stark difference from the way I looked before that class <laughs> and the way it looked now we are beat but like i said you notice how tired i was before that workout and yeah it's only 5 50 no 6 a.m now on the dot but i feel so much better even though apple watch is 602 602 yeah even though that workout class was sure and really hard it's good to get your butt kicked a little bit here and there now i'm ready to start my day as you can see it is still dark outside so we are going to do a run to the coffee shop real quick get a nice iced coffee cool down because we don't have any coffee at home it's like a little reward after a workout usually we don't treat ourselves to coffee because coffee does get really expensive very much adds up like three dollars a day but you guys know that so yeah but we still love to treat ourselves to coffee. Everyone does. Especially now, I feel like we earned it after that crazy workout class. Shout out Joe, he killed us. Joe's the man. All right. One scoop for me. Whoops. The best coffee ever. You have to have that white and water. Because it's cold, Bruce, you have to dilute it. I don't want a yeah, ton of half and half. Concentrated, it's super strong. Yeah, it's super concentrated cold brew, and I don't like to fill my whole entire coffee with half and half, so I dilute it a little bit with water. Michael just likes a little bit. I like mine creamy. So what's it to you? Comment below if you like your coffee creamy or not creamy. But this is like the same consistency. <laughs> no, yours is darker. Wait, we have to cheers. This video is sponsored by Stoggles. As an interventional radiologist, I wear Stoggles pretty much every single day. And I've been looking for something like Stoggles for a very long time. These are essentially stylish goggles that are protective goggles that you can wear for work. I wear mine during all my procedures that don't require x-rays, mostly CT or ultrasound guided procedures where I don't want bodily fluids splashed on my eyes, or even when I'm just talking to patients because sometimes you just need a little extra eye protection. Stoggles have clear side and top shields that protect the eyes without blocking peripheral vision. Stoggles are Z8 seven certified safety glasses without actually looking like safety glasses. It's basically just like PPE, but fashionable. Who wants to wear those big face shields where you can wear these sleek, super fresh stoggles? The lenses are anti-fog, blue light blocking, impact resistant, shatterproof, and UV blocking. Stoggles makes it easy to add prescription lenses with all the same lens features included. The best thing about stoggles is that they are super lightweight and comfy to wear. I wear them with a mask, they don't fog up, they don't slip down my big nose. I wear them for 30 minutes, hours at a time during procedures when I'm scrubbed in and can't touch my face. They don't move and they don't fog up. I literally wear these every day. All my staff can attest for that. In fact, some of my staff has been asking me where I got these and I may actually get them some pairs. There are a bunch of color options. I went with clear, but I also have blue and charcoal as well because you can never have too many. So do yourself a favor, get some of these stoggles. I promise you won't regret it. I literally wear them every day and I've said that a million times now, but this is exactly what I've been looking for for a very, very long time. Luckily, you can use my code to get 10% off. Use the code CHELLINI10, click the link in my description. Go check out Stoggles, you won't regret it. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, so the question is, what scrub should I wear? This is kind of embarrassing how many fake scrubs I have in here. It's probably like 50. But the question is, should I go bright today? A little bit of bright. Or should I just go like dark gray? What are we feeling today? Should I wear this green, which is the new surgical green by Figs? This color is bomb. Or should I go with the hydro green, 
by Fabes also, obviously, that's all I wear. Or should I go with this color? These are the decisions I usually make in the morning. I usually wear like a darker navy blue or dark gray charcoal or black, but I might switch it up today. I'm feeling a little, a little colorful. All right, so it is now about 7 a.m. Got ready, chose the scrubs I'm gonna wear today. Obviously, I went with the surgical green option. Felt a little bright today, it's all good. So basically what we did, made coffee, I showered, got dressed, and now I have about an hour left and I will basically respond to like business emails, social media type stuff, sponsors, all that kind of stuff. Do this all before I go to work so that when I get to work, I can only focus on work and not have to focus on anything else outside of work. Because at work, it can be super busy sometimes and I don't have time for all this other stuff. Yeah, I'm sure my practice doesn't want me spending time at work doing all this stuff when I could be doing radiology stuff, which makes sense. That's why they pay me. Also, one thing I failed to mention was that the whole morning while I'm kind of getting ready and stuff, I listen to a podcast. And for anybody who is a finance nerd like me, you may enjoy this. It is the Millennial Money Podcast, which is basically just like four different guys who I follow on YouTube. They kind of got together and they're all in the same financial space. And they talk about, you know, stocks, crypto, what's going on in the financial world, the markets, all that stuff. So let me show you it is the Millennial Money Podcast in case you guys care. I listen to it on YouTube. So if you're interested, free plug for them. I'm doing it. All right, listen to some podcast. It is now 7.45. I'm gonna go ahead and head to work now. I just got a little tired. That's fine though, because I'll probably just grab a coffee when I get to work because as an attending, I finally get free coffee. Anyways, so we actually don't eat breakfast in the morning. I used to always eat breakfast first thing when I wake up, I'd make myself some eggs and all this stuff. And I mentioned in my last video that I don't really do that anymore because I don't really see the point. I feel like I didn't earn my breakfast when I all I do is just wake up. So I usually wait till like 10 or 11 and grab some breakfast, probably just like a protein bar that's low sugar, low calorie, low carbs, or maybe some scrambled eggs or whatever. So just something to kind of tide me over until like 1-ish, 1.30 when I eat lunch, if I get to eat lunch. It might be a busy day today, so I'm not sure I'll be able to eat lunch, but I'm going to work now. So some of my old school followers may remember that this is the same backpack I've had on that doctor video I made, but I basically just bring my laptop to work, bring a little bar, and a little nut pack, and then I'll fill up my water bottle to take with me as well. Also, that was my old, is that my old thing? Yeah, it was. And if you haven't seen my doctor bag video, I do a whole video on what I carry to work every day. It's only changed a little bit, and I probably need to get a new bag, but more on that later. So it's 10 a.m. now. Oh wait, no sorry, 9.52 and I'm starving for some reason probably because I worked out. And it's time to eat protein bar, AKA my breakfast. I haven't done any cases yet, but maybe I'll do one shortly. Basically all I've been doing is just uh, reading a lot of studies, catching up on the list. And uh, that's pretty much it. Stock market opened a little bit ago, I'm watching that on the side, making sure nothing crazy is happening because the market was dropping yesterday. I guess I'll just wait for the next procedure. Yes, these glasses are amazing. And luckily they're sponsoring today's video. So I just walked out of the hospital and I looked down and I'm wearing my procedure shoes home tonight because I forgot I put them on, which isn't that big a deal, but you know, I put these on because I did a biliary drain and then I left my nice shoes at the hospital. Now I have to bring these shoes home. Let's just not tell Adriana. All right, so just got back from work. Wasn't too bad. Did a little biliary drain, a little this, a little biopsy, a little bone marrow biopsy, a little CT guided procedure, a little ultrasound guided procedure, and it went pretty well. And the funny thing is, actually, I'm not that tired, all things considered, now that I've started this whole 5 a.m. workout routine. I get tired about now, it's about 4.45, but stay up a couple more hours, get a good night's sleep at like 9.30, and honestly, I have never gotten better sleep than when I started working out in the morning. I have more energy throughout the day, and then at night when I get really tired, you are out. I have trouble sleeping. I wake up all the time during the middle of the night. I toss and turn. If I stay consistent and work out in the morning, I sleep like a baby at night. Never wake up and when my alarm goes off, I'm just dead because your whole body is tired from the workout in the morning and you finally get good sleep. I'm telling you, if you have trouble sleeping, try a little morning workout, get started on that routine and you won't regret it. So on that note, that pretty much concludes this day, my 5 a.m 
morning routine and a little day in the life and a little Stoggles advertisement in the middle of it. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you work out in the morning and you are a morning person. As you can see from the video, I'm very much a morning person, but even I have trouble waking up at 4.30 in the morning, especially because we just didn't go to sleep on time the night before. But a lot of times when I wake up that early, I try to get in bed by like 9.30. That's really the only way that you can wake up and not feel completely exhausted. It's easier said than done. Going to bed on time is like the hardest thing ever for me. And yeah, life gets in the way sometimes. But the other thing I like about working out in the morning and having a workout class is that you get penalized if you don't show up. So I think at my gym, it's $24 if you sign up for a class and don't show up. So that's pretty big incentive because I don't want to spend $24 as a no-show, just burn $24. Plus, if Andrana doesn't show up too, that's almost $50 we spend for no reason. You need a little liability like that and it helps you stay motivated because no matter how tired you are, if you don't have to pay $50, it's easy to just hit snooze and go back to sleep. But if you do have to pay $50, you'll at least think twice about it, I promise. So on that note, hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already and see you all in the next video, I guess. Bye.